This is Susan and Alan. They are 40 and 43. They have two children, a 10 and a 6 year old. They are working hard every day to have enough money to pay their bills and take care of their family needs. Their family income is $120,000 per year. This is approximately $7,000 per month after taxes. Most of all, they are afraid of losing their jobs. They bought their home in Richmond Hill, Ontario, 10 years ago for $400,000, and now it's worth approximately $1 million. They still have a mortgage of $200,000 and monthly mortgage payment of $1,300. Property taxes are $600 per month. Car loans, $1,500. They take a vacation once a year for three weeks. After all household expenses, they only have $8,000 left in savings by the end of the year. For the next 10 years, they will only be able to save $80,000. They are very worried. They do not know how they will be able to pay for their children's education, and what will happen if one of them loses their job. Also, they have no choice to maintain the same level of wellness after retirement, and most likely will need to sell their house and move into a condo. One day, after reading an ad in the local newspaper, they decided to change their life. They decided to become real estate investors. First, they went to Invest Connect Management Office to get professional advice. There, they learned how they can invest without any cash on hand. Now they refinanced their house and got a check for $600,000. Now they have an $800,000 mortgage and are paying $3,100 per month for the mortgage with principal portion being $1,500. They bought two two-bedroom condos in a good area of downtown Toronto in the pre-construction stage, deposit $200,000. Three rental houses in Keswick, Ontario, down payment $300,000. And a residential lot in Georgina, cost $100,000. Now they have Family house mortgage payment, $3,100 per month. Rental houses mortgage payment, $4,700 per month. Two bedroom pre-construction condo contracts with no mortgage payment. Residential lot with no mortgage payment. They rent out three rental houses for $1,900 per month each and get a rental income of $5,700. In this scenario, the family will have no savings left by the end of the year. But in three years, when the condos will be ready, they will assign the contract for one condo and close the deal for the second one using money from the assignment of the first condo. They will have only a $300,000 mortgage on a $600,000 condo. After this condo is rented out, they will have a positive cash flow of $900, also $600 of their principal paid every month by tenant. The total value of their investment properties is approximately $2,550,000. Two-bedroom condo in downtown Toronto, $600,000. Three rental houses in Keswick, $600,000 multiplied by three is $1,800,000. Residential lot, $150,000. With a total monthly mortgage payment of $9,100, included principal residence, Monthly rental income is $9,100. Monthly paid down principal is $2,250. An average property appreciation of 6% per year is $153,000. If you consider that Susan and Alan will continue to work for the next seven years with the same $120,000 family income, they will be able to save about $26,000 per year because they don't pay mortgage for their house anymore. It's paid by rental income. 
By the 10th anniversary of investing, they will be able to have $1,442,000 in savings instead of having $80,000 if they had not started to invest in real estate. If you consider that Susan and Alan will retire at age 60, and if no future investment steps will be taken, by the time of their retirement they will have their primary residence paid off, and their total personal savings after the sale of all their investment properties will be more than $5 million. What a great idea it was to start investing at the age of 40. If you are ready to move forward, call the Maxime Baginski Real Estate Investment Team and get professional advice and help to personalize your investment strategy. 416-832-8343 or online at www.investconnect.ca.